So my brother and I went out chasing tuna in the bay a little while ago and I thought I'd just throw a quick video together showing you the gear we used, where we went, how we targeted them and what success we had. So the first uh, setup is a Shimano Stratic 3000, uh, Shimano Jewel 5 to 10 kilo, 20 pound braid and this was throwing a half ounce jig head with a Z-Man streaks in the bubblegum colour. Now, I know people have had success on this lure in the past. Um, I just didn't get the casting distance I wanted with this. Whether the jig head was too small, um, not too sure. So maybe next time I'd up the jig head weight into a three quarter ounce or a full ounce maybe. See how I go that time. But this just wasn't, wasn't cutting the mustard. Didn't get close enough to the schools of tuna to cast this one. Um, just wasn't good. This setup we had all the success on, got actually two tuner on, is a Shimano Sedona 4000 match to a Sahara uh, five to eight kilo stick, 20 pound braid, and the ever trusty Alco Twisty in the 20 gram. This is what did all the damage. This just had a lot better casting distance than what the jig head and plastic did. Um, absolutely carved the tuner up, the tuner loved it. So yeah, maybe next time I'd up the weight on that thing, but uh, We'll wait and see. I'll throw the uh, map up on the screen now of where we went and uh, I'll talk you through that. So we launched from Scarborough and went straight over to the spot which I'm pretty sure is known as the Four Beacons. One, two, three and four. Uh, we bashed these for a little while but didn't have any success with the plastics or the slugs. So after that we went straight up this channel on the inside of Morton just looking for bust ups basically. Um, we probably saw about 10 or 15 bust ups during the day, but a lot of them we couldn't get close enough to cast to. Uh, a few of them we did and we hooked up a few times, which was a bit of fun. But uh, yeah, so it was pretty easy fishing. You just go nice and slow on the boat until you can see the bust ups um, and then just cast at them when you get close enough. Just a bit of a disclaimer too, as I'm reeling in this first fish, this is the first time we've actually gone out and specifically targeting tuna. So, I know me no we experts, but I thought I'd just share some uh, little hints and tips that I picked up on my studies along the way, which I put some of these two tuna for the day. Yeah. Potential longing. There he is. Turn the boat a bit, or are you good? No, he's alright. Oh, he's gone down the line.
Certainly fighting a bit harder than your last one. He is a bit, yeah. yeah. Longer. There he is. I think it was, I think it was another Mac Turner. Yeah, another Mac. Hold on. Watch your legs. So this is the first of the two fish we caught. We ended up keeping that one for bait, for shark fishing. Uh, this is the second fish we caught. Nice little fat mac tuna, good fun. We actually hooked up on that tuna for a little while, but it, we lost him, not sure how, but we did. Then we ended up feeding the, uh, the leftover tuna to the local dolphins before heading on home. Oh man, he, he didn't muck around. 